didn't really know what to do with it. And um, so they died anyway. They called Corn Peel's brimstone after Prime Minister Peel was sent to death. But the saddest part of the story for me was that the church said this was providence. So out of 8 million people, 1 million of them oh. died of sar starvation oh, or yeah. starvation related disease. And uh, 1 million were transported to other countries. That's why you've got so many. That's why you've got Papa Murphy's Pizza Place down the road. Although I suspect there may be some Italian in there as well. But, but there are so many Irish here because a lot of them came here during that period. And um, here's the thing, you know, Ty and I were just talking about this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what to believe, but what I would say to you, if you tell me you believe something, I would like to see you live in it. Right. Yeah. So if you're going to talk about it, love it. If yeah. you're going to say you believe in this Jesus who spoke about peace and standing up for the oppressed and being a voice for the homeless and looking after widows and orphans, I'm with you. I'm with you. But live it out. Don't just use the words. Because <clears throat> because as the Irish find over the terrible years of the famine, the words of the church meant very little when their children were starving to death. Irish call the famine and Gortamore, which means the great hunger. So we avoid that. 
but the state is very large. And, uh, and we were driving across it with a, a dear friend of ours who, is a, who was a wonderful uh, singer-songwriter, but um, she was one, have you ever met someone who sees the good in everything? Have you ever met someone like that? Yeah. They're really annoying. Yes. You know, I mean, I'm Irish. I'm, <laughs> I'm genetically wired to be annoyed by everything. <laughs> everything. And have the ability to be silent then. That's wrong. You said that completely wrong. Yeah, I did. You're right. Yeah. It's his gag. It is. You messed it up. That's because you're Australian and you don't understand Irish. The Irish have the right to remain silent, we just don't have the ability. <laughs> Cartoon effects by Kyle. <laughs> Disclaimer here, I was hoping to um, play a beautiful gift that we were given oh, yeah. at the beginning of the week. But it needs um, a hospital first. So. It's just a couple of really, really important notes <laughs> The three notes we need. <laughs> anyway, we were driving across Australia, and she saw this tree, it was all burnt and gnarled, and uh, she, she sort of tapped me on the shoulder, and she said, look at that. And I'm like, what? And she says, look at that tree, isn't that heartbreaking beautiful? And I'm like, those words don't even go together, except in a country song. Yeah. 
tiny ones like daddy. <laughs> Come on, girl. Somebody's got their hand up. Now you don't have to put your hand up here, you can just shout it out because it's not school. What are we going to say? Um, only, if we, only if we know them. What's it going to be? Shout it out and let me outside if I know it. I can't think so. But, but now you've said it, I wish I could. But we'll dedicate a song to you later on anyway, right? <laughs> 